Thousands of immigrants across New York are looking to Washington for help right now. The so-called dreamers who were brought here illegally as children could lose their protections in March if Congress doesn't act. But today, President Trump called on his colleagues to find a solution. Two on your side's Danny Spiewak explains how these complicated discussions have direct implications for young immigrants here in western New York. We're going to come out with DACA. It's rare to get this type of access in Washington. Cameras rolled for nearly an hour as President Trump debated immigration with Republicans and Democrats. It should be a bipartisan bill. It should be a bill of love. Trump called on Congress to find a solution for DACA, known as Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. That's the Obama-era policy that allows undocumented immigrants brought here as children to live and work without fear of deportation. The Trump administration is phasing it out, but left it to Congress to pass a bill to restore protections. 42,000 New Yorkers rely on DACA. Attorney Michael Tahiri has worked with about a dozen of them as a volunteer at St. Luke's Mission of Mercy in Buffalo. The meeting is fine, but at the end of the day, we're dealing with human beings and people who have been here for 10, 12 years and have been law-abiding citizens. They don't feel any more comfortable today than they did three weeks ago because no legislation is passed. Republicans aren't against it, but many have pushed to tie DACA with other measures like funding the border wall. When we talk about just DACA, we don't want to be back here two years later. You have to have security. But Democrats like Senator Chuck Schumer want DACA to be dealt with first in this month's spending bill before there is any debate about additional border security. It's encouraging that the president seems open to a narrow deal protecting the dreamers and to tackle some of the more difficult issues down the road. Tahiri called on Congress to give his DACA students a pathway to full citizenship. They've done some tr tremendous things to make this a better country. I mean, my kids have completed a paralegal program. One's back in nursing school. I mean, they've never been arrested. They're all law-abiding citizens. And we have an update on this story coming into our newsroom just 20 minutes ago. We learned of a development related to DACA. Multiple national news outlets, including Reuters, are now reporting that a California judge just granted an injunction stopping the Trump administration from rescinding DACA. This is all very new, so it's unclear what the impact is. And obviously, you know the administration is probably going to appeal. It might not change the fact that DACA still needs to be dealt with legislatively, uh, but something to keep a close eye on. Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.